Well, I've gone back to the digital camera for a little bit. The um, yeah, maybe I'm just gonna have to go downstairs and find the old mo uh, my old <clears throat> work mobile phone, which I never bothered um, sending back. It's just the big one I find so flipping heavy. Or either that, or I'm gonna have to figure out a tripod that, like I said, is mounted straight over the table. Yeah, I know the quality is just absolutely amazing, but this little dinky camera is just so easy to manipulate. Um, anyways, yeah, I want to go over the German or what I'm thinking about the German moves for 01 October. Um, I think I've figured out most of what to do because I broke it down into three main ways of looking at it. I mean, they've got like the drive on Warsaw. They've got to deal with um, the Russian First Army near the Prago River in Konigsberg. And somehow, man, I've got to figure out how to how to um, take off the pressure, you know, around Krakow and deal with the Russian Fourth Army. Oops, yeah, I better put him, put him back there. Um, yeah, this is getting into the realm of, like, I don't know, like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe I'm getting so anti-historical anti or ahistorical, I should say, or and just becoming game... Yeah, here's another one of talking about... Um, pseudo gaming this which I'm not going to do because I mean I don't see there's nothing in the rules that say I can't do it but I mean technically I can move this second cavalry division all the way through Poland along you know like right by loads and like go and try to help out there and it's like that's you know hundreds of kilometers um pretty sure because that's what 18 yeah like well over like yeah well over 100 kilometers of you know, a cavalry division going through enemy territory, it just seems to me really bizarre. Um, so I, I don't know, if I was going to allow that to happen, like to go and try to help them out, I think I'm, I'm like, okay, like maybe follow the river, follow the border, that, you know, that type of thing to try to get them there. I'm not going to start like straight down there. It just seems weird. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get back to this bit. So what I think I'm going to do is because... Um, yeah, and that's the other thing. I just don't know what to do with the cavalry here. What I'm trying to figure out is maybe, um, uh, like, continue trying to cut out the lines of communication for uh, for the Russian First Army because um, I know I'm only getting ten. Oh yeah, there is the other thing about the ten supply points coming in. Uh, that's the only, I guess, if you want to call it a reinforcement that the. Uh, Germans are getting is the ten supply points, but in the, in the book it didn't doesn't say like what hacks, like it appears if it appears on like you know with a, with a, as a supply point uh, transfer marker or any of that stuff it, uh, it doesn't say like what eight uh, if it you know it appears with the Eighth Army HQ it doesn't say anything like that, um, so I don't know if I can be or if that would be gamey if like you know do I can I give like two supply points to the core HQ, three to the ninth army, and five to the eighth, I don't know. Um, I'll figure it out, but um, what I'm going to try to do for one of the three things is just try to relieve some pressure on Krakow, is I'm going to try and send the entire battle group two by rail. They won't get there this turn, but I'm going to give it one hell of a, like I'm going to start getting going. Uh, move all of uh, Battle Group 2, I think that's about 11 strength points worth, and get them to travel down this way and meet up with 9th Army HQ, and I'll give them some... S uh, no, sorry, the core HQ is going to go down because I really want to focus, put proper focus of a, a proper HQ up here, up north, I think is a bit more important to really, really push these guys out. Um, yeah, and there's only 11 strength points here, so I'll figure out how to... Maybe I'll just make another core HQ. Yeah, I can do that with the 8th Army, and which is in Battle Group 1 here. And so what I'm going to do is... Um, even though I know I can't take forever, um, I'm going to start using like this time, because obviously you, I can see that both uh, Russian armies are not like offensive-minded, right? I mean, they're... You know, you've got um, the Russian second hunkered down near Warsaw, and I have to remember, which I didn't do last turn when I was the Germans, is that they've consolidated the forces. I mean, this used to be much wider, right? So a lot of these units are now in, like they're almost maxed out or whatever. I, yes, they're depleted, 
but there's still like a lot of strength points in there and I got a bloody nose I think last turn when I got a bit greedy and thought ah, I can push them away another hex and the Russians are doing the same thing here too right I mean they've you know they've shrunk themselves and so they're getting stronger here and that's a trench so they're going to be a bit difficult but like I said maybe there's a way of nailing them out of here quickly by really uh, cutting their lines of communication and then driving home driving it in home so before I like I don't want to make the attack or you know jump the gun kind of thing so I'm going to try to use this moment in time because they're obviously not attack minded is to regroup here and try to you know either do some recombination or um, get some people like yeah obviously and I also have to replenish that 11th strength point loss when I move battle group 2 away um, what else did I have to remember oh yeah and I screwed up last turn when I did some recombinations I noticed that I think it was the first guard infantry I'll have to check it up but they had a 9 uh, listed instead of an 8 and um, I allowed them to be recombined with a 5 for in a replacement infantry division which uh, had a strength of points of uh, 8 as, as their thing so anyways I just rejigged it it didn't really matter I just get uh, I, I put them back the way they should be it was only one strength point and then I gave that one strength point to the fourth infantry division which is which was in the same uh, battle group as them as one so that'll be that so yeah I'll have to figure out something to do with the cavalry see if I can cut off a line of communication so that's what I want to do here regroup um, to get ready to pounce right and I don't have to worry about them going after Konigsberg anymore like we've got a nice little beautiful trench work yeah and I know that's not the uh, Der Welt Krieg uh, to be honest with you I don't like the trench counter I'm not saying that one's a great one either but uh, I think this is like I can't remember I found this on BGG it's actually a bridge counter and I just modified it a little bit <coughs> sorry I'll put some triangly things to make it look like a you know trench worky type fortress thing or whatever and then I just used MS paint with the uh, oops with the um, spray paint um, brush to kind of make it look like barbed wire I don't know like I said you yeah I would have you would have been able to see this wonderfully with um, uh, uh, the mobile phone but bloody hell that thing is so big but like I said I think my older mobile phone or the older work one is good god wouldn't know one personally um, is about the size of my um, digital camera so maybe that would be a lot easier to ma manipulate I just have to go downstairs and hunker it out through like a pile of old ethernet cables and lord knows what um, yeah so I think that's about it I'm just going to uh, use this opportunity like I said um, to regroup recombine but I really have to start doing something about here this is just nuts like how in the world can I allow the Russians to, to uh, take over Krakow that just doesn't make sense I think that's about it and I've got to remember 10 supply points is not a hundred you know it's nice to see it coming but it's not um, it's not forever okay and I'm not used to doing the old camera bit, just the mobile phone.